Yeah. I think when I watch the documentary and just speaking the trip about like just the legacy of everything that you've done, there's a certain selflessness that your job entails and my perspective of it is you're telling your story. So people can't really get mad of this is your life that you were a part of it. So you really can't get mad from someone who put their life in the line for others and they're revealing to everyone like this is how it happened and this is my truth. So it's, but why not? it's definitely why not what? Why can't they get mad? That's easy. Yeah. See, it's easy to get mad and be upset with somebody because a lot of times you don't want to face the truth and you don't want right. to hear that. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. You know, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's easier to tell somebody. We, will, we would rather hear the lie than we, do, we would the truth. Right. You understand? Yeah. And that, that's what this country and everything is built on. Yeah. It's built on a lie. Mm -hmm. You understand? You grew up thinking that uh, George Washington chopped down the cherry tree. You know what I'm saying? That was one of the fables that they told. Right. Never happened. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's easy to live and build a lie. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People don't want to face the truth. Of course, yeah. Now, and that's oh, what I've been dealing with. You, you've been going back and forth. Uh, well, I didn't say you've been going back and forth, but you, you, you uh, said some things in regards to uh, Reggie Ray uh, Jr., who was over uh, death row security. Right. Um... And then he came back and he said some things about you. He he kind of in the in the sense of of that whole realm of telling and all of that. Um, what's the is there even a relationship with you and Reggie? Right? Like, do you do you, have you spoken to him personally since y'all been had the back and forth? No, no. What happened was, and uh, I'm gonna take partly blame for that whole thing. I told Reggie how I felt from him from Jump Street. A man, a dude named Rail from Three One Three, got us on. The phone together. Mm -hmm. At first, I had no interest in it. Rel thought we could do some things together. You understand? So he got us on the phone. I told Reggie how I felt about him from Jump Street. You understand? Mm -hmm. And uh, I told him I didn't like the fact. I said, I know for a fact. Mm -hmm. You understand? Me being a trained investigator, me being an individual that was in the business, that that dude, Kaden, didn't come into this and know the stuff that he know without getting it from you, Reggie. Mm -hmm. You understand? Without getting it from you. We had that discussion the whole nine yards. I told I couldn't go on this show, I wouldn't go on this show. But then, when he was going to jail, I told him, I found out he was going to jail, he told me he was going to jail, he had to go away. I said, listen here, I'll do him a solid. i come on the show for him. Uh, you referring to the, is that the Gangster Chronicles podcast? It wasn't the Gangster Chronicles, it was... Uh, I think bomb first or something like that. Okay. So, so I, w I went on bomb first with the form. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So we had that conversation mm -hmm. and everything like that. So in the interim of me explaining how Caden got his information, mm -hmm. I got somewhat zealous and I said, yeah, he got it from Reggie. Reggie, you know, told him and he wouldn't, you know, we went through that whole thing. And then I guess he got into his feelings behind it yeah. and he didn't let the people know that yeah, Gene said that, you know, but I thought we was going to hold that, you know, he hold that to himself or whatever like that. Yeah. Because we had that conversation before. But y'all did have, but you actually had that conversation with him, so it's not something... Oh, I had that conversation with him prior, prior to that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so as we're well on the phone. Yeah, so as opposed to just you going out and just saying that, you came, spoke to him at man to man. Oh, no doubt. told him, okay. Not even, it ain't no doubt about it. Yeah, no, because if I, you don't like it, he didn't speak on it then. Yeah. He didn't speak on it then. He ain't coming, oh, Gene, you know, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. playing around the bushes and stuff. So yeah. go ahead. That's the way he wanted to handle it. But then he handled it a whole different way. Yeah. You understand? When Once his around. other friends them got to it, so, you know, he put out the whole thing with Takashi and stuff like that. I Man, listen here. I was a state parole officer. I had to snitch on somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to write a report <laughs> on some. Everybody wasn't good, yeah. man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't save everybody, yeah. so I had to write a report on everybody. So if that's what he want to call that, man, yeah. listen, let him go I mean, with But that's it. a little bit different because that's actually your job. But, bro, listen to me. What he eat don't make me, you know what I'm saying? What <laughs> <laughs> fuck This is your African king's coming, Michael Blackson. You watching real friends, real talk. Get real with it, my son. <laughs>